Imagine, imagine lying on your living room couch. You need to go to bed, but you have a problem. You look down at your body without even moving your eyeballs because to do so would take too much energy. You cannot even will your legs to move. You desperately need to get to bed and it's only 11 o'clock in the morning. That was my life on and off for 12 years with chronic fatigue syndrome. So no one, no one can tell me that exuberance or vigorous enthusiasm and vitality are not critical, even when managing your body. The opposition would have you believe that youth and exuberance is loud, reckless, immature, noisy, disorganised. We say no. Exuberance doesn't always roar. Sometimes exuberance is the quiet voice at the end of the day saying, I will summon my energy and try again. The opposition would have you believe that maturity and savvy is about experience, de development, know-how, tried and tested. We don't deny experience is helpful, but hell, we can pay for advice and some of someone else's experience. You need exuberance to get things done, to inspire, to outmanage. I think the opposition is trying to say that experience teaches you a few things, and if you laugh at life, you'll be fine. Well, to that we say a categorical no. Experience is fine, so is a good laugh. But the 1,300 managers in this room will tell you that they can't outmanage, particularly in these times, with a funny person who's been around the block a while. Let's take a look at your life, my life, our lives. First, your life, you know, the hectic one, the one you just left for a couple of hours respite. What do you pray for when the kids have a snotty nose and won't get ready for school? When you've got four hours until that impossible deadline? I don't know about you, but I've never woken, woken up wishing I felt more mature today, wishing I had a bit more experience. We pray for energy. We pray for exuberance to get through the day, to outmanage the day. And thank you, Margaret, for emphasizing energy or exuberance is so critical. Because if you look at me, you see someone who had an illness that was basically a lack of energy. It robbed me of the opportunity to complete my degree or have a full-time job, both of which many would equate to maturity and savvy. A couple of years ago, when I got my energy back, I used my newfound appreciation for organics to create STEM Organic Skincare. Last year, my products were awarded Best Organic Skincare of 2008, and I won Young, Yen Young Businesswoman of the Year. <laughs> Exuberant investors will talk later. When I chose the US for the global launch of my products, I independently organized and had meetings with buyers from trend-setting US stores like Barney's of New York, Henry Bendel's, Fred Siegel's in LA. I arranged and had meetings with beauty editors from influential US beauty magazines like Marie Claire and Cosmopolitan. Despite them never answering their phone, returning your messages, or even releasing their email addresses. I hadn't been around long enough to know it couldn't be done, couldn't be done. But luckily for me, experienced and savvy export advisors told me it was impossible. Even luckier for me, I didn't listen, and I took my passion, my vigorous enthusiasm, and my belief in what I was doing, and flew. There was no textbook on organic skincare, there was no course, and experience wasn't enough, simply because I didn't have any. It's the same perspective and attitude that created Google, and that of the young founders of YouTube who sold their business for $1.65 billion, and Facebook for a billion dollars. Change, change is the norm. We look around us and we see war on three continents. We don't even have the experience to deal with what is happening at the moment in business, with the bushfires, in the economy. Although we do seem to have acquired a lot of experience in rising debt, 
and living beyond our means and polluting the planet. Those of you who are experienced, we appreciate you. Those of you that are mature, wonderful, youthful, fabulous. But age is not what this is about. And experience alone will not allow you to outmanage. I say to you all, look inside. Look deep inside and find your exuberance. Find your vigorous enthusiasm. Bring it to your life and let it flow through you. And watch and wait. Harness it and bring it to everything you do. Because I know, you know, we all know, if you do, you will outmanage whatever confronts you and rise to the top.